Hello and welcome friends. Welcome to another unboxing episode. This time I have a really really nice classic Italian fountain pen, a trendsetter. I've already done the review of this fountain pen, but I found it in its original uh, original form, let's say, uh, with the original materials. And we are talking about the Aurora Hay Steel. Well, I did a review of the Aurora Hay Steel, but uh, my version was in a vermeil, which means it was sterling silver 9 to 5, gold plated. The technique of gold plating the silver is called vermeil. But this original fountain pen was launched in uh, the beginning of the in, in 1970. It was a design from 1969, but it was launched in 1970. And the original, the original form of this fountain pen was a uh, brushed steel. And I'm quite excited because among with the steel version of the Aurora Hay Steel, I have also the original box. And guys, I paid for it, including delivery to my post office. I paid 268 lays, which means I paid 54.47 euros or 66.51 American dollars. And I believe it's worth all the money that I paid for. Okay, for the unboxing, I have here my trusted little knife from Pelican. Let me give you a little zoom. Okay, guys, now I will try to open it without damaging the content. Let me see how I can do. Okay. Okay. Uh, Try to. <laughs> we have some box of cereals, choco, muesli. But let me see. So this is the outer. I don't need the box anymore, so I will simply cut it right over here. Okay, and among all the tissues here, I have, whoa, guys, I didn't know that the box is so massive, and when I mean massive, look, I have here a Lamy 2000, look at the box of the Aurora Hasty, I'm excited, I'm excited, guys, it's a lovely, lovely box, okay, let me push it from this side. Whoa, all aluminum. Of course, it has some little scratches here, but interesting, interesting box. So all metal. Here we have some plastic part here at the opening and those two. And I think it pushes. Okay, it pushes. And yes, it reveals the Aurora Hay Steel. And it appears that I can... Hmm, it is an arrow here, so maybe this can be opened. I'm not so sure. So guys, this is the beautiful, beautiful Aurora Hay Steel. And here we have it. Yes, you might recognize the features whoa this is a quite quite elegant fountain pen this time we don't have aurora written here i distinctly remember that the other one had aurora written right here as a matter of fact why not guys let me pause it for a second because i will show you the already reviewed hay, hay steel i will just will uh, search it and i have returned guys with uh, my original vermeil aurora let me put them side by side for a, a comparison. I will give you a little zoom. So first of all, we have Aurora written here on the Vermeil version. We don't have Aurora written there. The same clip, a patented clip. And look at the ending. On here we have Aurora. On this one we don't have Aurora. We have the same patenting, patented ending. They look quite, quite 
the same. Let me see. Yes, definitely the same height. And now I'm curious to see the nib. On the Vermeil we have a gold, uh, not gold plated, but a gold nib. And here we have also, I believe, a gold nib, but this time it is a white gold. So definitely you can see there, 14K. Yes, practically we have the same, the same shape of the nib. Okay, we have the same feet. And now I am curious to see on this if I have some um, cartilage. No, no cartilage, no ink cartilage on this one, on the steel version. So, guys, this was, yes, it should have, uh, yes, a serial number on the grip section, and it has. So, I was quite excited to get this steel version, guys. But I'm also um, equally excited about this box. Of course, it's not in um, the its original form, but it's quite nice. I'm not so sure what this stands for. And I'm tempted to push it in that di direction. And yes, yes, I see it opens. I'm curious to see the content, if we have something here or not. Let me see. It opens quite rough. I hope I won't damage it. Oh, nice. So, guys, I hope you can see. I have here two cartilages, two original Aurora cartilages. And I think it opens still here. Yes. There are the two original ink cartilages. Let me see if I have some. No, they are empty. But yet they can be easily refilled with a syringe. So let me close it. I certainly love, love, love this box. And I brought as a comparison also the Lamy 2000, so you can see the dimensions. Of course, this is a piston filler. It's much more of a heavier, of a fat fountain pen in comparison with those two slim beauties. So guys, this was my unboxing of a trendsetter uh, like you know, if you've watched my review of the Aurora Hastings, well, this fountain pen inspired Mont Blanc to launch its Noblesse line. So it uh, it is like the Lamy 2000, a real trendsetter. Lamy 2000 was designed in 1967 by uh, Mueller a German uh, industrial designer, and this was designed by an Italian architect. I don't remember the name, but this was designed in 1969, in a time where the pen industry, the Italian pen industry, and especially the Aurora needed to have a hit, and indeed this was a hit. It was sold in the first month in an, uh, almost 90%. It was bought by the Italian dealers and it was quite, quite a success. If you want my personal opinion, I prefer the Vermeil one. But uh, indeed, I uh, recognize the minimalist design of the steel version. Like the Lamy 2000, it is quite minimalistic and uh, simple enough. And uh, this simplicity in the design it is the true beauty of this uh, writing um, instrument. Guys, thank you for your time. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are. If you like this unboxing, please subscribe to my channel to support my activity. I wish you to have a wonderful day. Please take care of yourselves in this pandemic time. And I will see you again at the next episode. Bye bye, guys. And God bless.